<laughs> yes, and uh, now we're officially into severe weather season, and boy, it is coming on like yes. gangbusters. So outside right now, we do have uh, cloudy skies here in Sterling as a tornado warned storm has passed by. So we're looking at this storm that's off to the northeast of Sterling at this point, and we have two tornado warnings that have been issued here within the last 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, so tornado warning up into northeastern Colorado until 530 and another severe thunderstorm warning. Looks like they just took off the severe thunderstorm warning and tornado warning that was right here just north of Brighton. So that's good news. At least this storm cell has weakened somewhat. But over the last half hour, we did have a tornado warning in effect there. Now we have a severe thunderstorm warning in effect till 545 just to the northeast of Hudson as this storm cell moves into that area. Also into northeastern Colorado, strong thunderstorm cell here moving into Julesburg at this point. Severe thunderstorm warning as well as a tornado warning in effect until 530 as this storm moves on its way up into parts of Wyoming. And we also have scattered showers here down around the Denver area so as we just took a look at that severe thunderstorm warning until 545. But right in the Denver area. Scattered showers here on the northeast side. A tornado watch in effect until 9 o'clock tonight for the entire Denver area all the way up into northeastern Colorado. So we still have the chance for severe weather in through the rest of tonight. We've seen these pop up storms in the heat of the day. Just north of Woodrow we have one storm cell moving toward Fort Morgan and 76 and then just east of Burdett also a severe thunderstorm warning there. That's just north of Yuma. But look at all the reports of tornadoes we've had today. One, two, three, four, five so far, and we also have reports of hail along with these storms as well. So quite an active day. Yesterday we had eight reports of tornadoes, today about five, and we're not done yet. We still have a tornado watch in effect until 9 p.m. tonight for northeastern Colorado. Winter weather advisory tonight and tomorrow for snow for our northern and central mountains. About two to five down to the southwest, about six to ten here for our central mountains, and eight to sixteen inches to the west of Fort Collins, up toward Estes Park and uh, Allen's Park in through tomorrow as well for 8 to 16 inches. Now, severe weather here, mostly into northeastern Colorado. That's where we've seen it all day today. It will continue in through tonight. Our current temperatures are mostly in the 60s now. We have 50s out toward Golden, Evergreen, and Conifer. Tonight's overnight low will be in the low 40s. We'll have those strong storms in through the rest of tonight and then highs tomorrow in the low 50s. That's why our first alert action day is going to continue tomorrow for showery, cool, soggy weather tomorrow. Highs only in the 50s, it's going to feel a lot different than what we've experienced the last few days. So we'll be in the 50s tomorrow with rain. 63 on Wednesdays, we start to warm it up, dry it out. Chance for scattered thunderstorms on Thursday with highs in the low 70s. And you see that here on the seven day forecast. Once we get past Thursday, we'll stay in the 70s here through the weekend, possibly even hitting 80 degrees by Monday with partly cloudy skies. And we'll be right back.